So in the past, you know that we have downloaded uh, Windows 10, and then these two are the backups or uh, images of. So all these three machines are running Windows 10. Today we want to install Windows 7 on a virtual machine, and I just uh, we are going towards that we have a few computers, so we can do the inventory softwares. How to do that and before that we want to have a few machines and if all the machines are running Windows 10 then we would not be able to <coughs> achieve that goal I have a Windows XP laptop I have another laptop that I plan to install either Windows 7 or 10 uh, depending on uh, which one I install later on that machine because I have to um, uh, test a few backup software still uh, and see if I can restore those images uh, probably that will be a Windows 10 machine <coughs> so let's go and install Windows 7 since you know it's 2019 uh, Windows 7 has been long gone uh, you can add go and if you click here <coughs> there's nothing to evaluate oh this is the wrong link so basically if you if you go to Microsoft Evaluation Center, you can find it. No, nope, it's not there. If you click on Windows, it's Enterprise, nothing else. If you go to Microsoft Download page for Windows 7 ISO disk image, it says that you won't need the product key. And we don't have the product key. We don't want to steal a product key, uh, but we don't want to buy either. I don't know how much it costs, uh, but uh, since we are, it's all educational purposes, and we do not want to actually Windows 7, install Windows 7 on any machine, uh, so I don't want to go and buy one. So what I found is that it's still available from Microsoft, and you see it's the uh, TechnetMicrosoft.com. Uh, over there, I found a link somewhere here somebody and this is the Microsoft has this uh, link still uh, you see Microsoft.com so you can download the evaluation copy of Windows 7 uh, 64 English that's the bell you can download it and <coughs> from there download it I've already downloaded it so I don't need to download it again what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just create a new virtual machine uh, right here let's see right click new virtual machine <coughs> we gonna name it win 7 or <laughs> how about 007 we're gonna keep the generation 1 here we're gonna give it uh, 2 GB RAM uh, we're gonna make the default switch we're gonna give it 50 GB like we always do and we're going to provide it the ISO. We're going to click here, then image file, and provide it the ISO file. This one you see that's the same one that I showed you over there. So I had already downloaded it. We're going to click and just finish. <coughs> Before we run that thing, we can go to setting, click here, and then settings, and give it a two virtual processors. Uh, click OK. Windows 10, I hope I have four. Okay. All right. <coughs> I'm just <laughs> making small tweaks uh, for that uh, inventory software already. Uh, now we're going to run the Windows 7. You can click start and hopefully it boots into Windows is loading files. Good. <coughs> oh yeah the beauty right there just so you know that I prefer Windows 7 I love it um, Windows 10 is beast uh, it's uh, uh, it's a very stable uh, operating system but I love Windows 7 I think it uh, uh, for home use it's the best one 
so basically it's asking us to upgrade or custom we know that this uh, we just just created this machine there is no operating system already installed so uh, like always we're gonna go with custom it's 50 GB yep we're gonna go with that and it's gonna copy all these files <clears throat> I'm actually thinking to uh, run Windows 7 on that laptop uh, I don't know I will try basically uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, uh, test start a software that's so uh, very popular in uh, enterprise uh, um, <coughs> uh, companies uh, it's called VM so what I want to do is I want to back up a computer and restore that image uh, so into a physical machine not a virtual machine so that's what I want to try and I don't know if I'm gonna do with the Windows 10 or Windows 7 I feel like that I should do Windows 10 uh, because Windows 10 is now everywhere nobody's installing Windows 7 but then depending on how old that laptop is that 11 uh, years old I feel like that I should install Windows 7 for the sake of uh, performance like uh, so I know it will be trial and error but that's uh, what this channel is about software's trial and errors <clears throat> the weather is changing it's getting colder and colder so is my throat is drier and drier starting in nines okay <clears throat> okay so let's say within five minutes this uh, uh, windows installed that's pretty good actually in registry settings Okay, there's <clears throat> still something that it needs to do. I was actually vowed when I saw that within five minutes the installation is done but I think it's gonna take its usual 15 minutes uh, and that uh, when I first installed Windows 7 when it ca came out I was um, pleasantly surprised coming from Windows XP that was a uh, <laughs> good <clears throat> so we're gonna give this name this PC a name win 7 um, well we can totally change it we're gonna for you count 
um, I think it's for administrator so I'm gonna give the administrator password to it so basically what I have uh, for all these virtual machines and testing and educational videos what I've done is that I've devised uh, two kind of passwords one is for the users and the other one is for the admin that's how uh, I know when I log in that I will have the so basically I am remembering the rights through the password so um, <coughs> So basically what I'm doing is that uh, I remember the password and when I log in I know uh, with the password I know that uh, okay I have the admin rights or the user rights rather than to go and give each account a different password and keep track of it and I cannot find Eastern Time next it's going to be a home network so let's do home I should have done the work <clears throat> too late yep that already should have done the <coughs> work <coughs> so the counter is up to like 12 minutes I think I spoke for two minutes so we are at 10 minutes mark for Windows 7 uh, installation enterprise Windows 7 was um, the first uh, major upgrade after Windows XP. Uh, Windows Vista was in between. It had a lot of uh, hype created before, uh, only for Microsoft to basically burst that bubble. They they could not deliver what they had promised for Vista. So Vista was uh, basically a big visual improvement and they had to cut back on a lot of things and then when they said oh okay we're gonna add everything push it back and do with install it with the uh, on Windows 7 no it's saying identifying I hope it does so and I think it had to do with the, that summer of worms uh, summer of bugs something like that that uh, Windows XP was bombarded with viruses and malware so well that was then it's saying no in internet access identifying I think that I have to go and change that setting but Windows installed uh, where is the evaluation numbers here not yet okay so Windows install I'm just waiting for this to show up so I can actually go and uh, open a web page like I always do let's see CMD um, and run and mshome.net I'm not getting a v4 address auto configuration 169 so let's do this let's uh, shut it down it's saying identifying internet local area connection properties ipv4 um 
let's give it one from us and see if that works and you have the internet so basically what happens is when this virtual machine goes online uh, it tries to get the DNS and for some reason uh, I don't know I have to work or something I'm gonna click this time work network so it's not going online and basically you search for DNS and it can't find so what I do is I just put Google's DNS as an alternative so my machine can connect online go at, to at least go to the internet you see this is the, the famous uh, Internet Explorer that came back then and <coughs> so we're gonna install Firefox <coughs> and close all tabs all right this desktop <laughs> uh, if you can see the I, I don't know if in the video if it's showing you or not that's like kind of a it's not smooth and it has something to do with the software drivers or something uh, desktop display can I go higher yeah I should let's do that keep changes no it's still not smooth and it has gone bigger so we're gonna go back I thought that uh, it's not picking up the right driver but that's not it so it's something else but we are happy but we just have to evaluate it for educational purpose and I love this new Firefox logo for that so that that's it this is how you install Windows 7 in the next video I'm gonna try to uh, connect um, my Windows 7 machine to the domain I'm gonna fire up the um, uh, server and go with that but that's for the next video thank you for watching and have a good night.